So you want to start your own mobile bar. I'm the Rusty Bartender and here's five tips that's going to get you started. Grab yourself a cuppa, let's get started. First, let's talk about creating a business plan. For me, this is so important. It's going to gauge your expectations about how much money you're going to make from this business. Is it going to be a side hustle? Is it going to be a full-time thing? This will help you define your target market. Who are you going to sell to? Weddings, birthdays, parties. This business plan is essentially how you're going to figure out how much everything is going to cost. Startup costs, hidden costs, projected revenue and operating costs. All right, now let's talk about branding and marketing. Branding is just like so important. You need a really good logo, uh, something that's going to stick out, something people can recognize at events. This logo is something that you'll be able to use on Facebook and Instagram and all the other social media accounts. You'll want people to go, yeah, I know that person. I know that logo. Marketing is key to running a small business too. You need to get the word of your business out there. You might as well start Facebook and Instagram pages because it's free. Plus, the amount of exposure you can get on Instagram and Facebook just by posting videos of how to make cocktails and how you're operating your own business. From my own experience, I get heaps and heaps of jobs just through Instagram alone. People see the cocktails I make on there and then just want to hire me. And once your branded and marketing is in place, it's time to build your bar. This is where you've got to decide what your mobile bar is going to be. Is it going to be an old caravan? an old horse trailer, a pickup truck, it could be anything, but you've got to make sure it actually looks good because if it doesn't look good, people are just not going to hire you for their special occasion. I mean, you can build your own bar, you can do it yourself, or you can just pay someone to do it for you. In our case, we bought a vintage caravan from a company in Melbourne called Spitfire Caravans, and they did the renovations for us. Okay, so the fourth tip is equipment. Make sure you have the right equipment and it's going to fit into your mobile bar. Things you'll need to think about are where you're going to store your ice, are you going to have fridges, um, shelves, shakers, jiggers, all the bar tools. And obviously make sure you put this into your business plan because you're going to have to know what everything costs. Finally, tip number five, you're going to need to know about licenses and regulations. Will you need a liquor license? Do you need bar license? You'll need insurance. What other permits will you need from your local council? You might even need a food license because here in Australia, if you're serving ice, ice is classified as food, which is something I never even thought about whenever I was opening this bar. Also here in Australia in Victoria, um, you need something called an RSA, which is what all bartenders need to be able to serve alcohol so pretty much wherever you are in the world you're going to need to check out your local regulations from your local council or government hopefully these tips can get you started if you want to see me go more in depth about anything we've talked about today just leave a message in the comments below if you've made it through all the way to the end you're an absolute legend consider subscribing and giving this video a like cheers i'll see you next time